do you maximise the investment in your staff? I'm Nigel from Chrysalis Advisors. Two weeks ago, I was sitting at my desk, drinking coffee again, preparing a report for an upcoming board meeting for one of my clients. As I was nearing completion, my phone rang. It was a friend I hadn't spoken to for a number of months. We exchanged pleasantries and chatted along the lines of how we were both going. After a few minutes, it became increasingly apparent that this conversation was not a random follow-up, but instead it was an intentional telephone call due to significant pain my friend was experiencing. He owns a business and has the regular associated issues that every business owner faces. We live in very interesting times with increased volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. A business owner has to navigate their way through all of these complexities on their own. They don't have the infrastructure of a larger business and departments where one can quickly resolve an issue by simply picking up a telephone call and calling a department head. My friend's dilemma was not surprisingly about staff. Staffing is one of those hot topics where one can go from heaven to hell in a relatively quick period of time. The discussion went along the lines of, I'm over it, I don't know what to do, tell me what to do. If only life was simpler. I believe the issue he was experiencing was not something that eventuated overnight. I think it had taken years for him to get to the position where his most valued and respected employee handed in their resignation notice. This was going to hurt this particular business owner who was already working late nights and weekends. He could see the writing on the wall for the next six months. There is no golden bullet. There is no quick solution. We talked about and put into place various strategies that would alleviate some of the short-term and long-term pain. One of those plans was a performance appraisal system. One of his takeaway lines from our discussion was to ensure that his business's core values provide the framework on which he will be conducting future performance appraisals. Initially, he thought this was all too hard and way too complicated. However, after a brief chat, he quickly concluded this was going to be quite a straightforward process. Another topic we discussed was performance management. Again, we discussed the alignment of the individual's performance against the organisational core values. By using core values as a benchmark against the staff member's performance, it is much easier. It removes any confusion in both the manager's and staff member's opinions. I'm Nigel from Chrysalis Advisors. If you want to talk further today, you can double your profits and reduce your stress and go home smiling.